Uh, it looks like a really cool truck. I'm really impressed by uh, Traxxas's design on this overall. I'm not gonna go over all the details on this truck. Uh, there's plenty of unboxings and uh, detailed videos on YouTube. One thing that really strikes me nice is this uh, body right here. Just pop this sucker off. That is such a cool thing. The body's really nice. I did go ahead and uh, reinforce it a little bit more with some uh, Gorilla Tape and stuff in here. But I love this cage system that it's got. It really makes for a nice rigid body. So hopefully this sucker is gonna last quite a while. And I really dig this uh, battery situation right here, uh, kind of like the X-Max uh, for a quick battery change. You got these uh, pin holes right here so you can lock it in really nice. You can change the battery in a matter of seconds on this truck, which is really sweet. You're gonna pop the body on and you're ready to send it. So it's a pretty cool design. The chassis on this truck is really sweet. I love the uh, blue color, but there will be a M2C chassis coming soon for this, along with some other upgrades. So you guys uh, stay tuned on that. We'll be testing parts very soon for this thing. We're just gonna find the weak points on it and uh, go from there. The truck is all stock, except I put in a 17 tooth pinion from a 13 tooth that was stock. I just uh, definitely need some speed out of the gates. We'll see how that goes with the temps and stuff. It's a 2000 kV motor, I believe. These big tires look really nice. They kind of have a nice uh, trencher design to them. So I did bring along some uh, Arma uh, DeBoots back flips in case these blow up on me. It looks like the glue jobs are, are a lot better than, uh, than the old standard Traxxas glue jobs. So we'll see how it does. We're just gonna give her a quick shakedown run and see what's up. All right guys, let's see what she'll do. Definitely got some speed with that 17 tooth pinion. Oh! <laughs> oh, guys, I know it's a wobbly wheel. Looks like we got a glue bead let go already in the back. Back side of this, uh, inside of this back tire. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna have to glue these tires up. This front one's coming off right here on the inside. This back one right here. Pretty much all of them are coming loose. All right, got all four tires gluing. A couple of them were completely unglued all the way around. I used this uh, Gorilla Glue with the blue cap. It's the best glue that I've found so far. I glue all my tires with this. You know, nine times out of 10, once I do a glue job with this, it never comes unglued. So just let these uh, things dry up. All right, while I'm waiting on that glue to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on these uh, Daboot back clips. Uh, they fit on the front uh, perfectly, but on the back, unfortunately, the Traxxas Hex, it was rubbing the hub right here. The offset isn't quite enough. So I'm switching on this uh, M2C uh, Hex for the Mojave plus two millimeter, and that should work perfect. So we'll do this for a quick fix. She handles a little bit better with the uh, back flips. All right, guys, let's send it out to the abyss.
Big shout out to a Kevin Talbot. Footage. Boy, that was a floater. <laughs> Tell you what, guys, I'm pretty impressed with this truck so far. This tracks is tough. Oh, first big smack. dude with a dirt bike here. I wonder if he wants to send himself off that ramp. <laughs> this is one of the best parts about coming to these huge construction sites. I get the four wheel through here. Whoa, Some huge ruts. tooth on my spur gear in there because the motor mount shifted and uh, chipped off a couple of teeth on the spur. Again, I switched out to the Daboot back flips. I like these tires a lot better on the truck. It handles better. Uh, I don't get all that excessive ballooning, but I'll put the stock tires back on it for another run once the uh, glue jobs completely dry up. Had a whole lot of fun with the truck, guys. Overall, uh, it's a very good design. I love the uh, body mount situation, and uh, it's just so fast and easy to uh, switch out your batteries. Uh, the chassis on this thing, it's not too bad bent. Let's have a little bit of a bow right here, as you can probably see against that side guard. Looks like the back is kicked down just a little bit, so it's definitely got a little bit of a noodle to it. To be looking out for some M2C racing upgrades soon, we'll be testing along with some Basher Queen, beautiful carbon fiber parts for it to lighten it up a little bit and make it that much tougher. So we'll get out again soon. All right, guys, until next time, RCD Day 1. Peace out.